So this week, the Senate confirmation hearings for Donald Trump's Supreme Court nominee Neil Gorsuch took place, and even prior to hearing him out at all, I thought that it was important for Democrats to oppose Neil Gorsuch because, you know, if Republicans blocked President Obama from fulfilling his constitutional obligation to fill a vacant seat on the Supreme Court, even if I disagreed with Merrick Garland, they blocked him from doing his job. So to approve of Neil Gorsuch and confirm him to the Supreme Court, you're rewarding record-breaking obstructionism from the Republicans. So I don't think we should be doing that. So on principle, I thought that we had a good reason to oppose him. But now that we actually heard him out, well, now we have sufficient grounds to oppose him on substance as well. So throughout the course of the hours and hours of hearings, to me, Neil Gorsuch came off as a really smug, abrasive, and evasive at times politician. And, you know, in a post-Citizens United era, his stance on money and politics is crucial. But Neil Gorsuch really proved that he's the poster child of corruption because there's a $10 million dark money campaign being spent to get him on the Supreme Court. Now, we don't know where the money came from, how many multinational corporations are bankrolling this effort to get him confirmed. But we do know that it sets up a conflict of interest because we know that these donations may influence his decisions as a Supreme Court justice. So this is a problem. Now, he was actually asked about his opinion as to why he thinks, uh, or whether or not this would be a problem, that there are groups spending millions of dollars trying to get him on the Supreme Court. His response was, it was downright sickening. It completely pissed me off. So take a look. How would we know that the partiality question in a recusal matter had been adequately addressed if we did not know who was spending all of this money to get you confirmed. Hypothetically, it could be one individual. Hypothetically, it could be your friend, Mr. Anschutz. We don't know because it's dark money. But if you were to ever find that out, or even if you were to have suspicions, I think in any challenge as to whether recusal was appropriate or not, were that to happen, say, in a lower court, these would be facts that would be noteworthy and that we'd be entitled to have an answer to. So it's kind of odd to be sitting here in a United States Supreme Court nomination hearing with a $10 million spend taking place for you uh, out there in the political world and absolutely no idea who's behind it. Is that any cause of concern to you? Senator, I'm not sure what the question for me is. Is it any cause of concern to you that your nomination is the focus of a $10 million political spending effort and we don't know who's behind it? Senator, there's a lot about the confirmation process today that I regret. <laughs> a lot. Yeah? A lot. When Byron White sat here, it was 90 minutes. He was through this body in two weeks and he smoked cigarettes while he gave his testimony. There's a great deal about this process I regret. I regret putting my family through this. But to my question, Senator, huh. the fact of the matter is, it is what it is, and it's this body that makes the laws. There is an effort where dark money groups, we don't know where this money's coming from, billionaires, millionaires, they're spending millions of dollars to get you on the Supreme Court and your response is, it is what it is. So what Neil Gorsuch is saying here is that he doesn't believe that the American people should see who's funding him at a very minimum. I mean, it's, it's not a problem in his eyes that he's being funded at all, that there's groups spending money to get him on the Supreme Court, but he doesn't even believe that we should be able to see who's funding him and it's very crucial that we do see who's funding him because if, let's say, um, Walmart funds him, well, if a Supreme Court case involving Walmart comes up, then I want him to recuse himself. But now we'll never know who's funding Neil Gorsuch. We won't know if there's a conflict of interest, and we don't know if these donations will impact his rulings as a Supreme Court justice. But his response? It is what it is. If you don't like this corruption, if you don't like the dark money that's being spent to get me on the Supreme Court bench, tough shit. This response to me uh, leads me to believe that Neil Gorsuch is downright dangerous. He must be opposed at every step of the way, and I think it's incumbent on Democrats to do everything in their power to filibuster him. But, um, you know, while Democrats and progressives 
have sufficient reason to be completely terrified of him while Republicans are completely falling in love with him. Always started with a grunt. I mean, <laughs> that's how he started a conversation. It's like, hello. Uh. So what does the great Justice Gorsuch think about this one? <laughs> okay. Ha! Gay! Now, if you're wondering what the hell was going on there, that was Neil Gorsuch's response to a question asked by Ted Cruz about what it was like to work for Byron White, the great By Byron White. Uh, and then Ted Cruz also asked really substantive questions about, well, you know, I heard that you take your staffers out. Uh, to uh, teach them about cattle wrangling or some shit like that. The, I mean, these are the questions that are being asked. You have $10 million being spent on, of money that is coming from who knows where, uh, and this is what the Republicans are worried about. Will you tell me about, you know, what it's like to work for uh, Byron White and what his farts smell like? They don't care about the dark money. They don't care about the corruption. It is what it is, according to Republicans. So, Neil Gorsuch represents everything that's wrong with American politics. Everything. And he has to be opposed at all costs. Now, thankfully, Democrats are coming out strong against him and they're pledging to filibuster Gorsuch. At least this is what Chuck Schumer is saying. And Bernie Sanders is also voicing his opposition to him and says that he will vote no. But I mean, Democrats, you cannot go back on your word. You have to be strong here. There cannot be a single Democrat that supports this guy. This guy is pro-corruption. He doesn't believe that we should know who's donating to him. I mean, the problem is the donations in the first place, but you take it a step further. You really, I mean, double down on your support for corruption if you don't even think we should see who's funding you. Any Democrat who votes to confirm him should be voted out of office because this, this guy is unacceptable. He's dangerous. His response, it's really unbelievable to me. I mean, it is what it is. This made me so angry when I heard him say that. No, Neil, this isn't the way that it should be. And if you think it is, then you're the problem and you shouldn't be on the Supreme Court. So if we got to block him for four or eight years, then we block him for four or eight years. That's just the way it's going to be. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.